Hi guys, it's me, Grandma Lily. It's time for Story Time with Grandma Lily. Today is Tuesday. It's May 12th. I hope you guys had a great day today. It's a little chilly for May, in my opinion. I don't really like the cold. So hopefully it'll warm up a little. But it was a nice day. So let me say hello first to my babies, Elijah, Jordan, and Kylie. I hope you're feeling well. And Serenity, my granddaughter, Hello, I love you. I miss you all. I can't wait to see you again. And I hope that you all had a great day too. So I told you yesterday that I was going to read a very special story to you. And this story is special to me um, because there's, there's a little bit of a story behind it. When my younger child was very little, they wanted a doll. They wanted a baby doll. And I happened to be talking to my cousin one day and I was telling my cousin that I was going to buy Tyler a doll. I was, I was off to go get Tyler a doll. And my cousin said to me, oh, you should also get this book. It's called William's Doll. And I said, oh, really? And she said, yes, this is such a great book and you will love it. So I went and I bought Tyler a doll and I bought William's Doll. And Tyler and I read William Stahl and we loved it because this was such a great story. So my cousin Colleen is the one that recommended this book to me. And so today we, we, we read William's doll for Tyler because it was so special to us. But we also read it for Colleen because she was the one that recommended it to us. And so thank you, Colleen, for recommending such a great book to us so many years ago, and we're so happy that you did. So go get your stuffies, go get your blankets, cookies and milk, and we are going to read William's Doll, okay? William's Doll is by Charlotte Zolotel, and the pictures are by William Panay Dubois. to Billy and Nancy. William wanted a doll. He wanted to hug it and cradle it in his arms. And give it a bottle and take it to the park and push it in the swing and bring it back home and undress it and put it to bed. and pull down the shades and kiss it goodnight and watch its eyes close. And then William wanted to wake up in the morning when the sun came in and start all over again, just as though he were its father and, and it were his child. A doll, said his brother, don't be a creep. Sissy, 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 said the boy next door. How would you like a basketball, his father said, but William wanted a doll. It would have blue eyes and curly eyelashes and a long white dress and a bonnet. And when the eyes closed, they would make a little click like the doll that belonged to Nancy next door. Creepy, said his brother. Sissy, sissy, chanted the boy next door. And his father brought home a smooth round basketball and climbed up a ladder and attached a net to the garage and showed William how to jump as he threw the ball so that it went through the net and bounced down into his arms again. He practiced a lot. Basketball is fun too, right? And got good at it. But it had nothing to do with the doll. William still wanted one. His father bought him an electric train. They set it up on the floor and made an eight out of the tracks and brought in twigs from outside and set them in clay so they looked like trees. That's kind of cool. The tiny train threaded around and around the tracks with a clacking sound. William made cardboard stations and tunnels and 
bridges, and play with the train a lot. But he didn't stop wanting a doll to hug and cradle and take to the park. One day, his grandmother came to visit. William showed her how he could throw the ball through the net attached to the garage outside. He showed her the electric train clacking along the tracks, through the tunnel, over the bridge, around the curve, until it came to a stop in front of the station William had made. She was very interested, and they went for a walk together. And William said, but you know, what I really want is a doll. Wonderful, said his grandmother. No, William said, my brother says it will make me a creep. And, my, and the boy next door says I'm a sissy. And my father brings me other things instead. Nonsense, said his grandmother. Grandmothers say nonsense a lot. She went to the store and chose a baby doll with curly eyelashes and a long white dress and a bonnet. The doll had blue eyes and when they closed, they made a clicking sound and William loved it right away. But his father was upset. He's a boy, he said to William's grandmother. He has a basketball and an electric train and a workbench to build things with. Why does he need a doll? William's grandmother smiled. He needs it, she said, to hug and to cradle and to take to the park so that when he's a father like you, he'll know how to take care of his baby and feed him and love him and bring him the things he wants, like a doll, so that he can practice being a father. So you see guys, anybody can have a doll, anybody can play with a doll, and it helps you learn how to take care of people and how to take care of things and how to be nice. And I think dolls are a great, a great, I love dolls. Now, because we finished this, um, this book so quickly, I'm going to read another story. And this is a Mo Willem story from our Elephant and Piggy book. And it is called Watch me throw the ball. Watch me throw the ball by Mo Willems, an elephant and piggy book. La, la, la. A ball. You found my ball. This is your ball? Yes, I threw it from way over there. You threw this ball from way over there? I am very good at throwing. Wow. May I throw your ball? You want to throw my ball? Yes. Do you know the secret to throwing? Sure. Have fun. Fun? Throwing this ball is not easy. It takes skill, it takes practice, it takes skill and practice. I worked very hard to learn how to throw this ball. Very, 
hard. Got it. May I try now? Yes. Maybe one day you can throw the ball like me. But stand back! The pig is throwing! Fling. There goes the ball. Plop. Well, how about that? I threw the ball so far, you cannot even see it. Oh, I, can, I can see it. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Who rocks? The pig rocks. Call me Super Pig with my arm of power. Ha! Uh, Piggy? Need to throw a ball? Here's the pig to call. Piggy, you mean Super Pig, right? Super Pig, I can see your ball back here. Do you know what this means? Yes. I threw the ball all the way around the world! The pig does it again. Super pig is really neat. Super pig cannot be beat. I don't think the elephant's buying it. Piggy, you did not throw the ball around the world. The ball flew behind you and fell here. And that is not very far. Not very far at all. You are right, Gerald. I did not throw the ball very far, but I had fun. Hmm. La, la, la. Oh, Gerald picks up the ball and flings it. And there it goes. Woohoo! Yes, I rock! And that is the end of our book. So, Piggy and Gerald had a whole lot of fun throwing the ball because that's what's important, right? That you have fun. It doesn't matter if you're really, really good at something as long as you have fun doing it. And it doesn't matter who you are, if you want a doll, you can have a doll and you can hug it and you can cuddle it and you can take it to the park and you can learn how to take care of people. So that is it for today, guys. And I hope that you have a wonderful evening and I will see you tomorrow. Grandma Lily loves you. Bye-bye.